are at the inaugural Cars in Cleveland presented by Bernie Moreno Companies. It's happening at Public Square. It's amazing, it's awesome, but let's quit talking and go in and show you the best part. Come on, come on in. $30 million worth of cars in here. So this is basically like a child of yours? Yes, absolutely. Is it your favorite child? Uh, <laughs> no, my daughter is my favorite child, and then my son. But um, It's a good thing you said that because they might see this. <laughs> That's all right. I'm here with Billy, who is from Avon Lake and a big track star. So Billy, you can run fast. How do you feel about cars that go fast? Um, the Vulcan over there. Has anybody told you how much that Vulcan is? I think it's like 2.2 or something like that. Yeah, I think that's about right. What do you think? What do you, have, what do you have in your back pocket right now? Any change? I talked to a young kid earlier who said this would be the car he wants to buy and he knows that it comes with an over $2 million price tag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Where is he? <laughs> I said you better start cutting a lot of lawns. Right, right, right. Exactly. No, it's an amazing car. This is really uh, represents the end of an era. I think when people look back 10, 15, 20 years from now, they're going to say this is really the golden age of the supercar. I don't know that I'll ever see a better car again in my life. Like, it, it is, it's, it's just special. It's the last mechanically, it's just a big V12 in a light car, and it goes around the ring faster than any, like the 918 over there or anything like that. Tell us your name. Kevin Kistner. All right, and how long have you had your Marlin? I've had this for 30 years. Very proud of it. Very proud to show it today in Cleveland. Well, this event, have you ever been to anything like this? No, I have not. What a wonderful event for Cleveland. All Clevelanders should be here today. Uh, very proud to be here. What are there, over 100 cars at the um, Crawford oh, yeah, Auto Museum? Approximately 100, 140 automobiles. So how did you decide what you were going to bring down here today? You whittled it down to four? We brought like the fine import cars that we had. OK, so what did you choose? Well, we chose the 67 Ferrari 365 California, the Mercedes-Benz Gullwing, uh -huh. the 56 Lotus, 11 race car, and of course everybody wants to see the DeLorean because of the pop culture of the, the it's just a big hit wherever it goes. Are you a LeBron fan? Yes, I am. Um, which of his cars that he brought here today would you like to drive home with? The Hummer. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely the Hummer. <laughs> you like a big car? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a northerner, so when it snows, I wouldn't have a problem. Colin Cunningham is with Cleveland Motorsports. He has all the cars there that you dream about. Colin, you've got this beautiful Dawn behind you. That is a gorgeous color. Is it new? It is. It is a 2018 Rolls-Royce Dawn, finished in a guaza blue with cream light interior. Absolutely stunning. It's been great. It's the best car in the world. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It's just one of the greatest vehicles ever built. Do you love being a part of this oh. event? It's the inaugural. It's absolutely great. I'm surprised it hadn't happened before. Just an awesome atmosphere. So this is the first annual. This Cars in Cleveland show is incredible. When was the idea first born, and how complicated was it to have it here downtown on Public Square? Yeah. Well, the second thing first, it wasn't complicated at all. The city of Cleveland has been amazing to work with. The county's been amazing to work with. The police are beyond amazing to work with. So the complication was easy. In terms of the idea, we wanted to celebrate two things. Number one, that people love cars, and cars unite people. And secondly, there's so many things that we think about that divides us, that makes us think, you know, we believe this or that. And we wanted a place where people can come together and celebrate three things, Cleveland, cars, and family, which is really 90% of the things. So those are the things that unite us. That's what we should focus on every day. You can't get more American than this. <laughs>